everyone i hope you are safe and doing good so in the series of learning c++ programming language in the previous video we have seen infinite loops now in this video we will see nested loops in c++ what are nested loops and the important point is what we will see is need of nested loops why we use nested loops and when to use nested loops with the help of program also i'll show it. okay now in simple term if i say nested loops means a loop within a loop that is nested loop right if a loop is inside another loop that is nothing but nested loop right if general syntax if i say then it's something like this if nested loops for loop can be nested loops while loop do while loop and these see so we have a for loop here and within this for loop we have another for loop right so this is why what nested for loop if you have while loop that is also fine we have while loop here we have condition if within this we have one more while loop right so this while loop is within this while loop so this is nested while loop this is known as inner loop this is known as outer loop inner for loop outer for loop it's not like that only two level of uh, two level is possible like one loop within another loop no nesting can be possible up to many level within this for loop we can have one more for loop within this we can have one more for loop and up to many level right nesting is possible right same with while loop same with do while loop and it is also possible within a while loop we have a for loop this is also nesting it is also possible within a for loop we have a while loop then within while loop we have for loop then again we have while loop now so mixing of this th these loops are also possible in nesting right nesting of range based for loop is also possible up to many levels any levels right now this is what nesting but now when to use this nested loops and why we use what is need of nested loops see generally when you deal with multi dimensional arrays like 2d array 3d array and these arrays then we use nested loops when you draw that pattern printing programs star with alphabet so these pattern then we have to use nested loops when you deal with like uh, data having more than one dimension if data is in a matrix or histogram or these kind of thing in a chart then we deal with that data with nested loops right see you can say like these nested loops are used basically for pattern printing or for displaying multi dimensional data right now let's take a simple example then you will get to know the need of this loop if you want to print these these star five star then simply you will say either see out it's not like that simply print here like star 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 no okay you can do this thing also this will give you the same result but either you can do that thing or you can uh, put like something like this and five C out statement, but that is not a good idea. We are repeating the same thing. We are printing star. So if you are repeating something, we use loops here, right? So I can put something like this. We have a full loop and we have like I is equal to one and I should be less than equal to how many times? One, two, three, four, five times I want to print less than equal to five and I plus plus, right? Within this, I can print star. So this will give you this result right five times the star will be printed okay fine now suppose i want to print this pattern now we have data in 2d more than one dimension previous row data was in having only one dimension now we have two dimension this and this right the rows and columns you can say it's a matrix form of something like this right now i want to print this kind of thing so i uh, this this process is used to print this line this for loop right now again same five star i want to print same five star i want to print same five star i want to print right means basically we are repeating this process we want to repeat this process so either you can write down here same process like same for loop here four for loop one for this one for this one for this one for this but obviously that is not a good idea writing four four loops for four lines no so here we use nested loops loops within loop 
so we want to repeat this process again right so same whatever you want to repeat that thing we put in a loop either for while for while do while or any loop right so this process again we put in a suppose for loop this this complete thing right so how many times this should be repeated how many rows are there one two three four four times right so this outer loop should be repeated four times right so we put something like this int any variable you can take suppose i'm taking j j is equal to one j less than equal to how many times one two three four four and j plus plus and within this we have this inner for loop right but generally in for loop we say like in outer for loop we take variable i for inner for loop we take j i'm not saying that it is wrong you cannot take j here you cannot take i here no but generally we put something like this here we take i in out for outer for loop and for inner we take j it's maybe something like maybe j comes after i in alphabetic order that is why we are doing this but i don't know but it's not something like it's a rule no it's not any rule you can take any variable right now now there is one problem here see first int i so we have a variable i that is one this condition is true so we will enter here now again we have a variable j that is one condition true so enter here first star would be printed right now we are still in this inner loop so now j plus plus now j becomes two condition true again star would be printed again j plus plus j becomes three condition true again star would be printed now j plus plus j becomes four condition true again star would be printed now j becomes five condition true again star would be printed now j becomes six is this condition true no now we'll be out of this inner for loop right now out of this inner for loop after that it will go to here i plus plus now i becomes two but we want to print the next next these five stars in next line so after this for loop you have to put a new line slash n or e and l after this for loop but within this outer loop so after exiting if j is six means condition is not true exit from this for loop so whatever you will write after this for loop just after the statement that would be executed means slash n slash n means the control would be here now now i plus plus now i becomes two now condition true again we will enter here now same for i two same would be repeated j one two three four five and five star would be printed right so this is the case so here in these cases we need nested loops but it is recommended not to use nested loops actually because of the complexity and you know complex readability of the program whatever you do with nested loop that thing we can also do with other uh, with other methods also that are more manageable more readable and less time consuming right but if it is mandatory to use nested loops then you can use it so this is i think you got why we need nested loops and what is need of nested loops and working of nested loops for one iteration of this outer loop this inner loop will have how many iteration five iteration right so if you uh, take a real life example of these nested loop you see the working of this type of nested loop i hope you got the working right in your daily life daily you see so you can just write down the real life example of using this nested loop phenomena this nested loop pattern in comment section you just think and write down one thing let me just tell you we can take example of clock one three hand one hour and minute and and second so this second will move the second hand will move in every 60 second 60 times after that after completing the 60 this minute will move one step like one minute then again for next minute this 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 uh, second hand move 60 times then again it will move one minute again it will move one one minute so this is kind of nested loops so let's let's do some practical of this nested loop how to print the, the, this kind of star okay so let's create a new file nested loop dot cpp 
same first we will take that header then namespace using namespace std and end main we will uh, draw that pattern right so in outer for loop outer for loop is for you can say for the rows number of rows and inner for loop is for number of columns in each rows so outer for loop would be treated for how many number of rows are there in that pattern four right and for every row the inner loop would be treated five times because you have to print five star so actual printing is done with the inner for loop right so i is equal to one and this would be number of rows here we have done hard coded we are taking like four and this or you can take here like from user you can ask enter number of rows enter number of columns something like this right that is also fine so now we have another for loop int j is equal to one and j less than equal to how many star i want to print in each row five star so j plus plus and then actually we are printing here in inner loop star right and after this after every after completing the iteration of inner loop five iteration the next for next row would be in next line so after this you have to put either endl or slash in right and just try down return zero for successful completion and let's run this and i'll show you the output now see this is the pattern right so like this using nested loops we can do diff we can do different different type of pattern we already have a playlist of pattern printing but that that is in c language but it's not you know so much different because syntax is almost same print f here c out and something like this right so those that playlist you can check pattern printing playlist in c so this is the use of you can say nested loop if you want to deal with matrix also or we use like four four three nested for loop right that is also fine that generally we do when we do multiplication of two matrix at i j k three loops we need right that also we have discussed when we were discussing uh, c programming language the link i'll put in the side button you can check out that video also right so any level of nesting is possible four four again four again four or here also while four four while do while nesting of do while nesting of range based for loop thing is possible right so it, it's your assignment you have to do this same kind of things you have to draw same pattern with do i loop do i loop as well as with while loop right so the, the there's two program you have to write you can just uh, write down that code in the comment section so in the next video we'll see one coding exercise on nested loops so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care